Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Madden 20 is winding down, but I know there's still a lot of people out there that are playing this game, trying to get ready for the Madden 21 season. So uh, I'm going to give you guys some more schemes. I can't wait for Madden 21 to come out. I know a lot of these playbooks are going to change, but the Vikings should probably stay the same uh, based off of the fact that there wasn't really any coaching changes in there. So we're working on the Vikings playbook. This is definitely one of my low-key favorite playbooks, and I'm going to be showing you guys something out of what's probably one of my favorite formations, the single back doubles north. Now, I'm going to show some run plays and some pass plays. If you guys want to see some explosive passing plays out of this particular formation, let me know in the comments section and hit the like button, and I will show you some one-play touchdowns. You know my channel. I mean, it's to the point everybody knows. My channel is all about explosive passing plays, and I got a lot of those. I might show one pass play towards the end of this video, uh, kind of a dink and dunk uh, play, uh, but mostly it's going to be run plays. So without a doubt, my favorite run play, and the reason that I'm showing this uh, particular formation is the halfback stretch. Now, when it comes to the halfback stretch, you can run this play a couple of different ways. Uh, without a doubt, I mean, obviously, nine times out of ten, I'm going to want to try to run behind these receivers. There's going to be a motion that I use quite a bit, whether it's in the passing plays or the run plays, and it's going to be motioning across uh, this receiver here to basically make a bunch set. Now, when you do that, you typically get a blocking advantage. Now, on a particular play like this, since it's a man coverage, you can see all I really did was pull across uh, the man cornerback, which is fine. But if my opponent's running a lot of man coverages, all you have to do is be a little bit smart about it and before you make the motion flip the play with the right stick now you can see how i basically have uh the edge blocking advantage with the tight end and there's no cornerback over there so if you know if your opponent's running a lot of man coverages you have to flip the right stick flip that run play to the open side of the field uh before you make the motion because once you make the motion you can't flip the play anymore so now that i know i have a man coverage there's nothing but a wide open space on the right side of the field that's going to be my read if it's a zone coverage a lot of times you're going to want to flip you want to keep the play the way that it is but as i get zone coverage I'll show you that. So like I said, man coverage, real easy read, nothing really to it. I'm just going to have this look to the outside. It wasn't a great run, but you can see that's going to be the best read you can make every time. I mean, there's multiple ways that you can get advantages when it comes to blocking with a setup like this. Like I said, mostly are going to come against zone coverages. So if I motion this guy across and the cornerback doesn't follow, here we have another scenario where it's a man coverage the guy does follow. Uh, but you can see even still, I mean, if you're just reading your keys, uh, the way that that linebacker or that safety is outside to the edge of Rudolph I don't typically want to run the ball at him anyway so in this scenario it's best just to run it as is make no motions because all you're really doing is nullifying your your your, your blocking advantage if you make that emotion anyway so you can run it just like this and you'll have a lot of success here you can see i mean i get a one-on-one -on -one. i got an x-factor running back i'm gonna make that guy miss and i'm gonna make a big play out of it even if i didn't do that i could have just ran to the edge and it would have been successful so here the safeties are dropping down lets me know it's probably going to be a man coverage that's just a pretty obvious read if they come forward without looping around i'm gonna get this edge real easy as you can see right here he shoots right into the gap so there's nothing really outside so like i said it's a real simple read you can see right here i mean i'm I'm making a couple guys miss because I have a, an OP X factor running back, but you can see it's real simple to get big plays with this. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the only other run play that I really like out of this is a zone week. It's a very similar concept. I'll go ahead and show that real quick. Same idea, exact same setup. I just find that a play like this, I mean, you're definitely, I find that you definitely want to let this guy get set. Here we have a man coverage that's so not going to be as successful. But basically between this and the, uh, the stretch play, this is just like the inside version. But you're going to run it the exact same way. So here, I mean, this isn't necessarily the best scenario for that. But you can see how there's really, you know, you're still getting... Uh, the same type of blocking advantage you just don't have an edge set up the same way you do in the previous play so like i said i'll show a little bit of a pass play a little bit of a dink and dunk hard to stop pass play because i'm going to save the explosive plays for its own video the next play i'm going to show is going to be the pa inside cross and then like i said hit the like button for the uh, for the explosive plays uh, to come next so let's go ahead and let's pick uh, the pa inside cross just going with random plays. This is, like I said, same look. You're going to motion this guy across here. You can motion snap him if you want. I mean, he's going to be a lot of times the first read there. He got to the edge a little bit quick. When you motion snap receivers, a lot of times they get a little bit of an acceleration boost. Uh, but this is going to be one of the more important reads. I would say if it's like a cover two or, or even a man coverage, 
putting him on that motion snap is going to be the best way to go so he can still get open from time to time. Certain coverages will stop that. But if it's an off coverage, like if it's a cover three or cover four where the cornerbacks typically drop back, in that scenario, I typically let them get set. Or at least it's better that you can let them get set, I should say. Uh, because that's something where there's going to be nobody there. Like right there, that was something with an off coverage uh, where the cornerback was dropping back completely out of the play. Now, the only thing where this motion will not work is in man coverage. So if that B route, if he comes, if he comes across with that, he's not going to be open. As you can see right here, I mean, that's a cover two probably. He, he's within distance, but you can see it still works. So pretty much any zone coverage, that's going to work. But like I said, if the cornerback follows all the way across, like right here, I'll throw it to him anyway as I accidentally make the mistake <laughs> that looked like an all-out blitz but like i said if i would have threw it to him there i'll try to throw it into a man coverage to show you that it does not work against man coverage that's something where you really have to make up some other adjustments like i said i'm just going to wait for him to come across like i said if he doesn't come across he's going to get open here i make the mistake again <laughs> as you can see the check down is really good i had to hit it two times in a row the y route is a really good check down it's essentially a drag your opponent's not really going to be paying attention to it because they'll probably be trying to stop by trying to use her and stop the B route. So here it looks like we're finally going to get that man coverage. Like I said, typically you can't throw it to that in the man coverage. So if you ever see the cornerback follow that receiver, just let it go. If you do get a man coverage, if uh, the cornerback follows uh, like this, um, you know, this not, there's not a lot of great man beating routes on a play like this. So I would say, you know, motion him back uh, because he's not really doing too much for you. You can put the, the Y route on a drag. You can put the, the X route on a zig. You can put the X route on an on an out route. I mean, there's a lot of different things um, that you can do that beat man in your adjustments, but you're not necessarily going to have that on this play. So if that's the case, um, just motion it back because he's not really helping you. And like I said, because there's so much space, I mean, you can get a really good catch and run with the zig route or something like that. There's a lot of different things you can do, but this particular play is not really set up for that. So let's gonna, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see uh, part two of this explosive plays, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.